Hey guys, so I am here with a Stitch Fix unboxing video. I haven't even opened it yet. I just picked it up from the mailbox. So let's get started. I skipped last month. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Okay, so as usual, got my return bag. It's pretty big, so a couple people had, uh, have asked me before, what is, how do you send it back? This is how you send it back. It's already paid for, it's pre-stamped. You just put your clothes in here and drop it in one of those big blue mailboxes or just drop it off at the post office and it's already postage paid for. Okay, then I got my little card that I always get and it says, hi Megan, happy Stitch Fix Day. Thank you again for the notes and Pinterest. I love your style. We don't carry shorts at the moment, but we do have some great tops and skirts. The striped mini kit skirt can be worn with a white tee, a denim button-up top, or the cobalt tank. Just add a mustard yellow statement necklace to finish this bold look. The pink necklace will look lovely with the collective concepts top. Add a soft mocha pencil skirt to dress it up and add heels. The green lace overlay top by Market and Spruce can be dressed down with cut off shorts and wedge heels or dressed up with a suit. Have fun, I can't wait to hear your feedback. XO, XO, Jess. Got the little ideas on how to style it. I did keep this last time. Um, I think I did use it actually one day, if I remember correctly. Um, I got my little thing that shows my total. I'm, I'm at 166.50 for five items, which is actually cheaper than it was uh, last time I was at like 190 something before so um, yeah because you get 20% off 25% off if you buy all of them and then you have your $20 styling fee so not too bad we shall see all right so hopefully everything looks good last time I was really happy with everything so all right let's get going so I got it all bundled up here like this oh I already see some fun patterns um, I did mention that I was interested in some green pieces. I let her know, I let them know again, like, hey, no wintry pieces. Okay, so, ooh, I'm so excited. I've seen this skirt on a couple people's um, hauls and I really like it. So this is by 41 Hawthorne. And it's a skirt, a striped skirt. It's super cute. It's slightly stretchy, but it does have a zipper. So the waistband is stretchy, but the factual fabric really isn't. This is really cute. I love that. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Try that on later. Then this top is the Market and Spruce top. I get all my tops and mediums and all my bottoms and larges because I have a big butt. So, and it's quite round, so there's no like getting around it. Um, so yes, this is a medium. It's the Memphis Lace Overlay Knit Shirt. Ooh, this is really pretty. I am definitely into this. Really, really pretty. Love that. So cute. I have a pair of white American Eagle jeans that I just got in a size 8, which is really exciting, and they fit perfect. Um, that I think would look really cool with these, and it would, even though this is like a deep fall color, the white pants, or the white jean, like crop denim pants I have, would, I think, work out really well to keep it, you know, kind of looking good for being on an island. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I should tell you the prices, huh, guys? Sorry. I'm losing it today okay so the striped skirt is $58 the green shirt that I just showed you guys is also $58 those were the most expensive items in my box this month I think last time I got something I think I had ones that were at 60 something you can go look if you're really interested in knowing but um, and then this is a pomelo brand shirt it's the Jillian Crochet Detail Tank. Oh, and it's really cute. That's cute. I don't know, I mean, I feel like I could get something like this at TJ Maxx probably for cheaper. Um, it does feel very nice though. It's nice and thick. And let me see what, how much this one is. It is $48. So, I had a gray shirt in the last Stitch Fix that I wasn't like over the moon about, but I liked it fine. And I ended up getting everything because it worked out to be cheaper than getting just four of the five things because you get the discount. So I have a feeling that's what this month will be too. So by Pomelo, again, I like this shirt. It's very pretty. I love the color. Um, I'm just not convinced that it's un super unique is the only thing, but I do really like that. Okay, and then this is Collective Concepts 
brand, and it's the Sandro Abstract Dot Print Racerback Tank. Ooh, this is fun. This is pretty, and it's really fun too. I like this. I like the little pocket. This is pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, and then that was $44. And then the last thing, and it is the cheapest item in the box, is by, it's, a, it's an accessory, and it is by Pixley. It's the Robin Teardrop Branch Necklace, and this is $34, which personally I think is a little much, because um, I feel like you could get this at Target for cheaper, but it is, it is, I do like it. It's really pretty. So that's what it looks like. So... Let's see. I loved three things and I liked two things. These are the two things that I just like. Obviously, I haven't tried them on yet, so I'll know better when I try these on. But this is the necklace. This is that blue tank top. And these be 48 would be $82 if I gave so Hmm, so 242 minus 82, that would bring me to 160. 20 is 140. Hmm, yeah, so I may return those two things. Let's see how much of a deal it is because 166.50 is my total to get everything and for me it'd have to be a good amount less than that for me to want to return two things do you know what I'm saying okay so anyways 242 minus 140. so it would be 140 so I'd be saving 26.50 so if you look at it that way and you say okay so I'm paying 26.50 for these two items that would these work out to be like $13.25 a piece, which is cheap. So I'm gonna keep all five items again this month because I do like, it's not that I don't like these um, and it's not a good enough deal to return them. It's better. It's a better deal if I just keep them and spend the $13 because I don't think I could find these for $13 a piece around here. Um, and I don't wanna to have to go looking because I already like them. So I am gonna keep everything once again this month. I really enjoy it, all of the stuff. And honestly, $166.50 for three tops, a skirt, and a necklace, that's a good price, if you ask me. So, I'm going to keep this stuff kind of a little bit of a Christmas present to myself, I guess you could say. Um, also, I have some events coming up and some things, some lunch meetups with some friends. And so, I want to have some nice new outfits to wear to those things. And I wore every single item out of my last Stitch Fix box, um, some things more than once already um, and it's only been a month and a half since my last one or so give or take so yeah I think I'm going to keep all this stuff so that is my stitch fix for this month I am happy with it second month the second box I've gotten from stitch fix that I have liked and the second one in a row that I have kept all of the pieces if you guys are interested in stitch fix you can go below there is a link to stitch fix I will receive a small credit um, for you signing up and for you getting a box but I receive nothing past that. Like I just receive a credit one time, that's it. I don't receive anything for you keeping stuff, none of that. Um, so I also wanna correct my last video. The stylist that I was talking to, um, I, I, I misunderstood her. Uh, if you keep nothing, you do not get that $20 back. So you pay the $20, the box comes to you. It would behoove you to keep at least one thing and just spend, you know, 15 to 20 something dollars on your box and extra over the 20 and keep one thing versus sending the whole box back and losing that $20. That's how I feel. I feel like, like for example, let's say you get your box and you can fill in your price range and everything so that they can send you things as close to your price range as possible. So let's say you get a box and let's say you have a something in it that's $34 like I do and you paid the 20 I feel like it's more worth it to spend $14 and get the item and then return your rest of your stuff um, because you don't get that $20 back why not put it towards something but anyways 
you do get that you do get to use that twenty dollars if you choose to keep stuff it's if you decide I want nothing and you send everything that comes that month back that twenty dollars is just a styling fee and it does still have to go it does still get like taken away from you so I kind of misunderstood that and I, I misinformed you guys in my last video so anyways that is it this was my stitch fix for the month of December uh, my next one is scheduled to arrive in three weeks from right now I think I could be wrong I think it no that's not true I think it's scheduled to come after Christmas so I will give you guys a January stitch fix haul when that one comes I'm really excited I'm gonna go in today and change my notes um, so that the my stylist can start arranging my box to my specifications so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again the link to stitch fix will be below and I will see you guys later bye